So guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to give you three options to take a girl on a first date. I've previously made some stuff on TikTok and here on YouTube Shorts talking about bad things to do on a first date. And so I've gotten a lot of questions asking me, well, if that's a bad thing to do, then what should we do? Well guys, here it is, I got you back. Here are three places to take a girl on a first date. Number one, take her for a walk. Just take her for a walk through the park, a couple of blocks around the city, wherever you live. Maybe sit down on a park bench, have a chat and just get to know each other. I see so many guys making the mistake of thinking that they need to try really hard to impress the girl. They think, well, I need to take her on a fancy dinner to a fancy restaurant. Maybe I need to take her to a fancy club and buy her bottles of champagne, spend some money on her and really try to impress her. But the irony here is that the more you try to impress a girl on the first date, the more she is going to be turned off. Because if you try really hard to impress a girl, she's just going to think that you are very needy. Maybe she's going to think that you are desperate even. And girls think this is very unattractive. And think about it. She's probably right because why exactly are you trying to impress this girl? You don't really know this girl yet. And even if you do already know her, you don't really know her in like a romantic dating context yet. You don't know if this girl is worth trying to impress in this way but you are trying to impress her. So the sheer fact that you are trying to impress her kind of implies that you are a little bit desperate for a girl's attention. It implies that you don't have a lot of options in women, that you have so little experience with women that now as soon as you're dating one, you just go all in and try to impress her, even though you don't really even know the quality of that specific woman yet. Truth is, you are a little bit desperate, right? This is, this is not nice to hear when you hear this for the first time, but it is the truth. And a girl is going to notice this, whether it be conscious or subconscious, she's going to know that you are desperate and she's going to think that this is very unattractive. And so the irony of going on a first date is that the more you want to impress her, the less you should actually try to impress her. Don't go overboard, don't go too fancy, but just do something casual. The purpose of the first date is to get to know each other so act like it. Take her on a casual date option where you just go for a walk, have a talk and actually get to know each other. Now, another thing this does is that it rules out the gold diggers because yes, there are going to be some girls that are disappointed that you don't spend a lot of money on them. But think about it. Why would you want to date these girls? These girls are interested in your money or your status or whatever it is, but they're not really interested in you. Because if they are, then they wouldn't mind going on a walk with you. But think about it from your own perspective. If you like a girl, do you mind spending time with her? Do you mind going on a walk with her and getting to know her? Of course not, right? That's, that's something you like to do with some, someone that you're interested in. So if a girl is interested in you, she's not going to mind going on this date with you. So in my opinion, this date is a very good first date. It's a casual way to get to know each other. You're not being too needy. And you get to find out if this girl is actually someone worth dating. Number two, take her for a coffee. This one works for pretty much the same reasons as the previous one. It's a casual date option. You're not being too needy. And it's just an opportunity to have a chat and get to know each other. But it's slightly different. It's just a different option. Instead of going for a walk in the park, you now go to this coffee place. You get to sit down, order a hot beverage and have a talk. Not much else to say about it. It's just a different option. If this is something you prefer, you know, some people might feel uncomfortable going for a walk in the park. They might think, well, that's not what normal people do. Normal people go to normal people places. If you feel more comfortable doing that, then take her for a coffee. But number three, there is something else to say about number three. Number three is next level. This one is my favorite by far, which is to take her for drinks at a bar. Now, the reason I really like this one is because it is still casual enough. 
you're not trying too hard, but it has some extra elements. It's in the evening. It's a different setting. She's probably going to spend more time fancying herself up, right? She's probably going to wear a, maybe like a nicer dress that she would not wear when you take her for a walk in the park. She's probably going to spend more time doing her makeup, etc. And now what this does is quite amazing. A lot of people don't know this. She doesn't really even know it herself. But on a subconscious level, when she's fancying herself up, in some way she is fancying herself up for you, right? Because you're the one that she's going on a date with. And so what this does, when we fancy ourselves up for someone, we subconsciously put us into the mindset where we are trying to impress that person because that's the reason we are fancying ourselves up, right? And I just explained to you guys why you should never really try too hard to impress the girl because it's making you seem needy. It's making you seem low status. It's putting you down here and it's putting her up here where you're the needy guy trying to impress the girl. But as she is fancying herself up and she is subconsciously putting her into that mindset where she's trying to impress you, she is raising your status in her mind. So instead of you being the needy guy trying to impress her, <clears throat> she's now trying a little bit harder to impress you. She's subconsciously putting herself into that mindset, but just preparing herself for you. It also allows you to fancy yourself up, which could set you apart from the crowd. But again here, guys, don't go don't go too much, right? Don't wear a three-piece suit, six Rolexes, and one of those belts with the shiny age on it. If you, if you go that way, she's just gonna think you're needy again. But just do some small things. Maybe like wear a nice dress shirt, dress shirt. maybe wear some nice shoes, whatever your personal style is. You know, there is the opportunity to set yourself apart from the crowd a little bit without going overboard. There's alcohol. And if you don't want to drink alcohol, then that's fine. You don't need alcohol. But I think we all know that alcohol can help to loosen things up a bit. And even if you think, well, I'm very confident, I don't need alcohol to loosen up, that's fine. But don't forget, there is the girl as well. Even if you don't need it, it might still help her to loosen up, which could definitely help the progression of the date. There is the opportunity to escalate physically because it's a nice, warm social setting. You're sitting next to each other, so there's the opportunity to start touching. There's the opportunity to move in for the kiss, etc. And I'm sure you could technically also do these things at a coffee place or on a park bench. But let's be honest, it is easier and more inviting to do so when you're having drinks at the bar. There is the opportunity, and this one is big, because the date is set in the evening. You're probably going home after the date, right? And so there is the opportunity to take her back home, which is huge. It really sets this date apart from the other options. Now, sure, again, you could technically also do that when you take a girl for a walk through the park. But let's be honest, um, you're not going to do that as easily from a park bench as opposed to when you're having drinks at a bar. It's just, it's just different. Now, I'm not trying to say that you should necessarily always want to take a girl home after a first date, but drinks at a bar give you the option to do so, which in my opinion is great. Now, there are some bonus tips that I, I need to give you guys. In fact, this one, the first one is not even a bonus tip. It's more like a must do. And that is do not buy her all of her drinks because as soon as you start buying all of her drinks on this date, she's gonna think you're needy again. It, it puts you into that social dynamic where you're trying to impress her again. So don't do it. You can buy her drinks. Sure, you can buy her a round of drinks. Don't buy a round drink and make her buy a round drink. That's just going to be awkward. Buy a round of drinks, but then make sure that she buys the next round of drinks and alternate, and alternate like that throughout the evening. Another tip that can really take this date to the next level is to not just take her to one bar, but take her to different places. So if, for example, you take her to two bars instead of one bar on that evening, what this does, and this again is like a psychological trick, what this does is that we form different memories. 
When we go to two places, we form two different memories of that evening, of that experience, instead of one. And since we are with someone, we kind of connect those memories to that person. And so in some sense, we do more bonding to that person because our mind thinks that we now have more experience spending time with that person. And so if you take her to like one bar first, then you take her to the next bar and maybe there's a dance floor, you do some dancing. After that, you take her for a bite to eat and then you manage to pull her back home. So now you've already done four different things on one date. And so on a subconscious level, the girl you're dating with will have bonded to you to the same extent as she normally might only have to another guy after like four or five days. And that's, that's really why I think this last date option really sets itself apart from the other ones. It's still casual enough, you know, you're not being too needy, assuming you don't buy all the drinks, but it has all those extra opportunities. It has those extra opportunities to go for the kiss, to take her back home, to really get her falling in love with you if that's what you want. I'd say this is a near perfect date, but that is not to say that the first two dates are not good as well, are not good either. I think it differs. You know, I think the last date is primarily something thing you do when you think you are really going to like this girl and you're really just trying to make the best out of it, really trying to create that bond, really trying to hook her in. And the first two date options are a bit more casual and probably more suited for when you don't really know if you're gonna like the girl yet. You know, maybe you're spending more time on yourself and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna give this girl a chance, but yeah, not gonna spend too much time on her right now. Let's just quickly go for a walk in the park and see how well we connect. I think all of these dates are very good first dates, but it kind of depends on the situation and what you think should be the best date for that situation. So you're going to have to judge that for yourself. But either way, all of these options are very good date options. So I hope it helps you guys out. I hope you guys can have some successful dates. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.